Hey guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with physics in multiplayer. Now in this case we're going to be using the Ultra Luna multiplayer system, and this video is sponsored by Ultra Luna, but they are not forcing me to say anything. Let's get right into it. First of all, I'm just going to be showing you with a rolling ball. So let's start by setting up the player for this. So I'm going to make a new prefab or a new game object, call it player, and let me just zero its position in space. I've just made an empty object for the player, and I'm going to make a sphere as a 3D object for the body of the player. Just gonna call this body and keep it like so. Now let me add a material to this. I already have a preset up player material. And then on with the player, we want a few things. First of all, we want a rigid body because, well, we're working with physics. And next thing that we want is the rigid body synchronizable, which is part of the Alteruna system. And now let's just make a script to control the player. And let me add the script on the player. Now in here, we want a few variables. As always, when you make a physics controller or any controller really, let me make a header and say player settings, just so we can organize it nicely. And then I use serialize field, private, float, and then one for the move speed, which we can just set to, for example, five, uh, five float. And then I want one for the jump force as well. Now, typically when you're working with a rigid body controller, you would want to do private, rigid body and then you can call it whatever i just call mine underscore rigid but in this sense actually you want to get the rigid body synchronizable from the alteruna setup this requires you to be using alteruna up in the namespace and then we also want the the alteruna dot avatar i'm just going to call that underscore avatar now i forgot to add this to our player so let's go back and do that in case you haven't watched the first Alteruna video, the avatar is basically what categorizes this as sort of a client ownership of the player. So when a client joins, they will take over an avatar. Now, first things first, let's go into awake and let's grab these two privates that we have here. So let's do a get component and then we want to get the rigid body synchronizable. And let's do it for the avatar as well. Exact same thing. Now, when we work with physics, we want to go into the fixed update functionality and actually add the movement vectors here. So first things first is we want to check if the avatar dot is me. This means are we the owners of this avatar? And if we are not, we want to return. This is very important that you have this little exclamation mark in front. Now here, let's make our movement vector. So I'm going to make a new vector three that I'm going to call movement vector. And I'm going to set that to be a new vector three. This new vector three will be of the input dot get axis. And I'm going to get the horizontal axis. It's going to be on zero on the y axis. And I'm going to get the exact same for the vertical axis. And then we are going to normalize this. So we're going to do dot normalized as to always get it to be adding up to one. And then what we can do now is just how you would with a normal rigid body. With the rigid body synchronizable, you just do rigid dot add force exactly the same it's the exact same way it works so what we do now is we take our movement vector and we times that with our move speed and this should just work but let's add our jump as well and we'll be doing this in the update because i want to be using if input dot get key down and let's use the key code dot space bar and here we can just add a force in the same way but doing it upwards instead so i can do add force dot jump force times the vector three dot up and we can do it with the force mode of impulse and of course just like up here we need to make sure it's only ourselves that can actually add this force and this is basically it for all the network synchronizing so let's go test this out but before we go further let's quickly make this into a prefab and then go and delete it from here go to our network manager and add the player as the player prefab to spawn let's start it up start a room and as you can see we have our ball here i can control it and i can jump this works just fine. Now let me go test it in multiplayer. So as you can see here, let me just try and move my physics up here and join the room. And you can see now we have two and these can collide with physics. It just works. And I think this is super simple setup. I really like it a lot. See, everything works, the jumping works. And remember, Alteruna actually sends directly to a server and back. So if you look up here, this is actually a completely different connection, which means it's going from this window to the server and then to this window. And look how responsive it is. 
I'm very impressed with how responsive it is. And of course, there's a bunch of settings that you can play around with in the physics part. So if you go on to the player, you can see the ready body synchronizable. First of all, there's all the bucket behaviors, which has a lot of detail to it. But also you can just choose how often it syncs and how often it full syncs and well, whether to send data, obviously. And I think this is just super impressive. Such a nice system. I think physics in multiplayer is typically a thing that's actually really hard to work with and especially having it be responsive and fast. But Alterina really managed to do that without needing any sort of client side prediction or a light. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I just really hope that you have a wonderful day.